Welcome, Class 9 students, to our exciting exploration of sound waves. Today, we'll unravel the mysteries behind key terms like wavelength, time period, frequency, and amplitude. Our first term is wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between two consecutive points in a sound wave that are in the same phase. In simpler terms, it's like measuring one full cycle of a sound wave from one peak to the next peak, or one trough to the next trough. Next up is the time period. The time period of a sound wave is the time it takes for one complete cycle to pass a given point. It's like measuring the time it takes for a sound wave to go from one peak to the next, or from one trough to the next. Now, let's dive into frequency. Frequency is the number of complete cycles of a sound wave that pass a given point in one second. It's measured in hertz, yuz. So, if you hear a high-pitched sound, it means the frequency is high. And if it's a low-pitched sound, the frequency is low. Our final term is amplitude. Amplitude refers to the maximum displacement of particles in a sound wave from their equilibrium position. In simpler terms, it's the height of the wave. The greater the amplitude, the louder the sound. And there you have it. A quick journey through the terms related to sound waves, wavelength, time period, frequency, and amplitude. Remember, understanding these concepts is crucial in unlocking the secrets of the world of sound. Stay curious, keep exploring, and let the world of physics continue to amaze you. Until next time, happy learning.